In this tutorial, we're going to go over creating a new tracking job in Faceware Analyzer 3. Uh, as this is intended to be a very basic tutorial, we're only going to go over the bare bones of what's needed to take a video or image sequence and create a new tracking job. Uh, we'll go over the advanced options and the new trimming features in a separate video. For now though, we're going to open up the new job dialog by selecting the new icon up here on the toolbar. As I said, this is a basic tutorial, so we're only going to need the features in the first two sections of the General tab. First, we need to select and import a video or image sequence. If it's a video, you can simply drag it into the dialog, like so. For an image sequence, or if you need to browse to your video, you can do so by pressing this Browse button, selecting which type of file you want to import a video or image, navigate to and select your file. For an image sequence, you only need to select one image in the sequence. You can see that the preview here shows the image of the file that we've imported. In the job details, the name here automatically populates with the file name of the video you've imported, as you can see. You can rename it to whatever you wish to call your job. Similarly, the job location fills in with the location of your imported file, unless there is something already there in this field but you can change it at your leisure by clicking the Browse button here and selecting a new folder. As you can see, our video is sideways, so in the Job Orientation drop-down, we're going to rotate it to be the correct orientation. The increments in the drop-down menu are 90 degrees clockwise. Finally, if you're using an image sequence, you'll use the Image Sequence FPS drop-down here to select your frame rate. Uh, once we're happy with all these settings, we'll click Create. So what Analyzer is doing now is creating two things. The first is a .fwt file, which stands for Facework Tracking. This is the main job file in Analyzer, and if you're opening a job, this will be the file that you'll select. The second thing is a folder with the same name as the job file, with underscore fwt added to the name. This folder contains the image sequence that Analyzer has created to work with, as well as many of the files related to your tracking data. It's important to note that if you wish to open or work with the .fwt file. You'll need this folder in the same location as the file. And there you go. You can now create a new job in Faceware Analyzer and get tracking. 